at the moment, the snow is mainly lying on the very highest peaks across the United Kingdom. We've got some snow falling today out of this little weather front here across the higher ground above about 200 metres. But that is all set to change as we head through to the middle of the week. More of that in just a minute. But for tomorrow, you can see we've got another weather front coming into the north. That'll give some showery rain and also some sleet and snow again for the highest ground. So for this afternoon, that's where the weather front is across Northern Ireland and southern Scotland. Just a very light, that rain, I think, with showers to the northwest and some heavier showers, perhaps with the risk of thunder in the southwest. But for many of us, it is going to be a dry day. A chilly one, particularly across the central parts where we've got quite a wind blowing at the moment, but temperatures generally around 6 to 8 degrees. And then overnight tonight, we'll find that band of cloud coming southwards, giving some snow perhaps over the Pennines, some rain as well. And then out to the northwest, those showers continuing. But elsewhere, away from that weather front, it will be clearer and colder. So around the weather front then, temperatures holding up around 3 degrees, so too around the coast. But to the north of that and to the south, we will find temperatures dipping to around freezing, giving some icy patches on the roads. For Monday, a very similar story then. The cloudier skies, though, coming into the far north of Scotland, again, giving some snow over the higher ground. But for many of us, it will be a dry and sunny day, although I think the southeast of England will have some showers first thing in the morning. Into Tuesday, low pressures with us out to the southwest, and with it, some very strong winds. That's going to bring a band of cloud and rain into the southwest during the first part of the day. Now, ahead of that, we will find some freezing fog patches, I think, sticking across these uh, central parts. But to the north, it will be drier and brighter with just one or two showers. Hours. That band of cloud and rain, some sleet over the high ground and some snow will gradually work northwards. At this stage, it's hard to know exactly how far north it will get. But as we head into Wednesday, this is when we could see some sleet and snow at lower levels, particularly across northern England and Wales. There is the chance of disruption, but at this stage, it doesn't look as though it's going to amount to too much. The reason for that disruption is this band here, this uh, where the weather fronts are meeting between the milder and colder air. And as you can see, it slips its way down across the United Kingdom during Thursday and Friday, the cold air eventually winning the day. So on Wednesday, the band of cloud, rain, sleet and snow will gradually move northwards, turning cloudier in the far south of Scotland, perhaps. But then on Thursday, that band will head its way southwards once more, right down into the far south by Friday, to the north, some freezing fog patches. Bye-bye.